A mother remembers her daughter who was, what is it saying, fatally shot while driving on I-95. Jeez. Uh, y'all got to be careful out here in the street. I don't even think I heard of this story, which is strange because her representatives would have kind of made me do the damn story. You say, Willie, do you have a girlfriend? <laughs> What is a girlfriend? <laughs> the family of a woman killed on I-95 back in January. No, oh, they're speaking out. 25-year-old Alexia Anderson was shot in the car while she and another woman were leaving the Jags Chargers game. Both women were taken to the hospital where Alexia later died. News for Jags reporter Alicia Hatcher joins us in the studio. Alicia, her mother says they passed by several cameras. You got a beautiful baby, right? Damn it. It's somebody. Damn it, you got damn filters, y'all. I, I... Her representative popping. Her representative popping. I'm trying to tell you, but he got damn filters. Oh, oh, I can't forget. I, speaking of filters, I'm going to show y'all that filters, makeup, naturals. Oh, I'm going to show y'all something in a minute. But no arrests have been made. Her mother says her daughter drove by these several cameras, but nothing was captured on the DOT. Alexia Anderson was shot on I-95 while heading home from celebrating the Jags win over the Los Angeles Chargers. Her mom, Rakita Jones, says... Oh, so she likes sports. Okay, cool. Yeah, she and a friend missed a turn and were trying to head west of Jacksonville. They were cut off by one vehicle, and then another vehicle proceeded to open fire onto the ve in, into the vehicle. When officers arrived, they found the two women on the side of the road. They were both taken to the hospital in critical condition. Jones says she was woken up by a call. Her aunt just said, um, Alexia's been shot. Um, try and find out what hospital she's going to so you can get there. And I, I panicked. While Jones was at the hospital, doctors told her that Alexia was responsive. And so we were ho hopeful. But a few hours later, they received devastating news. She didn't make it. Now, these look like two different damn women now. This the woman that they've been showing us? And um, that's hard. You know, that's very hard because she was such a beautiful person. You say, is she still warm, though? Um, fun, loving, loved everyone um, that she was close to. Lexi was just a beautiful being. She really was. She was my best friend, you know, and that's hard. She's She was her father's best friend. Since losing Alexia, Jones has been helping take care of her daughter. She has Say mama can get it. Hmm. As a child that says mommy all day, the the joy of being a grandmother is beautiful. The overwhelming part is is learning how to explain to my granddaughter that her mom is no longer here. She also has started a foundation in Alexia's honor. Okay. We want to build up enough resources to provide assistance with funeral expenses, uh, repass assistance. Whoa, 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 whoa. We want to build up enough assistance to provide assistance for funerals and Passover. You know, that's that's the after part of the stuff like that right there. Why are we not telling people to just get some damn life insurance? I don't, I don't understand it. Or any type of financial assistance that we're looking to. Any type of financial assistance. Why don't we also tell people to work? Why don't we also tell people to stop producing children that they can't damn afford? Why don't we just do that? So we got to gain some money. We got the, the, the damn it, let's build a foundation to help people with funeral costs. Don't we already have that foundation? Yeah, yeah, like, ain't that called GoFundMe? I understand that she want to do something in the remembrance of her child. I get you, I get you, I get you. But let me explain something to you, baby. This does not help. Um, This does not help people do better. It will help for funerals and repat. Got it. It does not help people take their loved one's death serious. It really, really don't. You say another community bill. Host a gala. Birth control. Yeah, uh, yeah. First part of August. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me bag it up and just let us say it. 
explain to my granddaughter that her mom is no longer here. She also has started a foundation in Alexia's honor. We want to build up enough resources to provide assistance with funeral expenses, uh, repass assistance, or any type of financial assistance. We're looking to host a gala first part of August, um, just uh, violence in general, um, to shed some light on what we're experiencing here, not just in Jacksonville, but Florida. And says they plan to keep her name alive. No arrest has been made in this case, so if anyone has any information, please call JSO or Crime Stoppers. Live in the studio, Alicia Hatcher, Channel 4, The Local Station. Oh, that is so good right there, what you just wrote. Birth control requires self-control. I like that. Say GoFundMe is the new life insurance. Yes, it is. He said, you just vote for Joe Biden again, baby. That's all. That's all that you got. That's all you got to do. Say if I sick to me on deck. That's what's up. Say Duval, please stay out the damn news. I'm trying to tell you something. This did not, not now we gotta go back because she got damn filters. They're showing us like three, four different females. But then it's just one female. They don't look the same. She is supposed to be her. And what is a gala? Because, uh, damn it, I can guess that a gala is like a function or something like that right there. Like a get together or something. Let's, let, let's, let me find the definition of a gala. Gala def, definition. Uh, Cause I don't be knowing. He say a social occasion with special entertainments or performances, yeah. A get together. Yeah, a pageant, um, a jamboree, a party, a garden party, a celebration, a festival, a fundraiser, festivals, um, Mary George, joyous, joyful, oh, all those entertaining. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A get together. A, a fish fry. It said catfish fry, something like that right there. Say, uh, go fund me about to put life insurance out of business. I'm trying to tip. Boy, they're making it difficult. But these two people look different. Now, <clears throat> she's still cute here, but it don't look like she got her representative on. Well, it don't look like she have a filter on with, with like, the make hair. The picture has a filter on it, but it don't look like she's heavy, like, with makeup or something like that right there. But these pictures here look like she heavy with makeup. She got a natural on. She popping. And she got a filter. Yeah. Like, she's still cute, though. I don't know why we just can't look like ourselves on our pictures, though. I am so confused. They say life insurance is tax-free, though. Mm. They say baby mama's dressed like a doctor or some. Devastating oh, news. Mama. She wouldn't make her hopeful. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she might be a nurse. A RN, <clears throat> not a CNA, like 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 a RN, a BSN, a MS, NBC. A, uh, mm. But a few hours later, they received devastating news. She didn't make it, and um, that's hard, you know. She, damn it, she might be like a um a maternity nurse or something like that right now. Say she draw blood. Oh, that's very okay. hard because. She so she's also a phlebotomist then. Right, go ahead, go ahead. Such a beautiful person. Um, fun, love. You say grandma better go get baby daddy to help she. You know what I'm saying? L listen, the baby always saying mama, 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 you need to send the baby to the daddy so now the baby can start saying daddy, daddy, daddy. Loving, loved everyone um, that she was close to. Lexi was just a beautiful being. She really was. She was my best friend, you know, and that's hard. She's she was her. Father. She's a pharmaceuticalist. Oh, what the, damn it! It do look like yeah, yeah. She got the pharmaceutical look. Father's best friend. Since you say I thought CNAs was doctors. Now you, they, she, they damn near ill. Or maybe she's a lab technician. Um. Possibly, possibly. You say I got hired to produce essentials. Losing Alexia, Jones has been helping take care of her daughter. She has a child that says, Mommy, 
all day. Oh, so they say that she's been helping take care of. So maybe she is sharing like um, time with the father. Maybe. The the joy of being a grandma. Oh yeah. So just think about this right here. If she's in the medical field, I got to just say that she got insurance, but her daughter was grown. So maybe mama got her own insurance, but don't have an insurance plan for her daughter, which is still would be kind of strange because of the type of um, career that she may have. Because typically when we got good careers, we be having life insurance because we have medical insurance and stuff like that. We have life insurance through like the jobs and stuff. So typically a good job, a good job to where mm, like them little funk ass, little $20 a month, it ain't gonna hurt you. You know what I'm saying? Like a good job, yeah. The little funk ass, little $20 ain't gonna hurt you. You need a good job to do that right there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mother is beautiful. The overwhelming part is, is you say she got health insurance, not life insurance. You see, see, and I was just like thinking it through because like a lot of good jobs, the payment for life insurance is 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 actually cheap. It's actually cheap. So when you fill in that, your benefit packet and you look at it, oh shit, it's $14. Oh shit, it's $20. And and I think she may only have like one one child. She only have like one daughter. So like them little 14, little 28, little dollars. Shit, it's nothing. It's nothing. So hopefully she did have life insurance. But she's also speaking on setting up foundations to help people pay for funerals. And I think that, that it's learning how to. I don't think she have a GoFundMe. I don't think so, but I can look. Explain to my granddaughter that her mom is no longer here. She also has started a foundation in Alexia's honor. We want to build up enough resources to provide assistance with funeral expenses, uh, repass assistance, or any type of financial assistance. We're looking to host a gala first part of August, um, just uh, violence in general. Um, to shed some light on what we're experiencing here, not just in Jacksonville, but Florida. And says they plan to keep her name alive. No arrest has been made in this case, so if anyone has any information, please call JSO or Crime Stoppers. Live in the studio, Alicia Hatcher, Channel 4, The Local Station. They say they like that burger in their dress. That's what's up. Um, hold up, hold up, hold up, because I'm still trying to see if she do got to go fund me. Shout out to Lundy for the, for the, for the $5 super chat. He said, no, Willie, she didn't ask for money to put her in the dirt. Oh, no, 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 no. That's not what I was saying. She said that the foundation is they trying to, 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 to collect money to help people, to help other people. He said she's asking for money to start a benefit program or something like that. Yes, 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 you absolutely. You're absolutely correct. And that's why I was saying that I don't think that it's a good thing because then um, it's not teaching people responsibility. It's not teaching people that you need life insurance if she's setting up a assistance account for funerals and repasses. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just... Because if people know, okay, if somebody died, I can go around here. You know the same thing that we do with GoFundMe? The same exact thing that we do with GoFundMe is what she's trying to do. And I think just in the long run, like, that will not benefit people. Hell, they already ain't got no damn insurance. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, because I am looking, and I don't see no GoFundMe, so this might be good. That mama got, um, or or she possibly had her own insurance. Either which way, we don't see no damn GoFundMe. But I'm finna put her name in the search for GoFundMe. Hold on. You bullshit. You is BSing me. Oh, you was BSing me. But I don't want to judge. I don't want to judge. We didn't read it yet. 
remembering, remembering Alexia. She takes some good pictures. Good pictures. They're trying to raise two hundred fifty thousand dollars. They got two hundred and forty dollars with five donations. You say this fundraiser is located near you. Okay, okay, okay. Now, <clears throat> hopefully, hopefully, because I have not read it, I'm hoping that it's speaking about the foundational type thing, right? <clears throat> My name is Rakita Jones, the mother of Alexia Anderson. Alexia was killed on January 15th of this year by a drive-by shooter in Jacksonville, Florida. Say since her death, several young adults have, have lost their lives due to gun violence. Yes, we have reported on a lot of um, uh, um, gun violence out of Jacksonville. He said, I have started a foundation in her innocence, the Alexia Alexandria Foundation to bring awareness to the issues that we are facing in the African American community. Additionally, um, provide support to families that have been victimized by violence to say a portion of the $250,000 will go towards a community awareness gala and the remaining funds will go toward assisting families with funeral arrangements repass assistance and putting uh, resources back into the community your help will be greatly appreciated so she did not need a GoFundMe to bury her child that's a good thing that's a good thing so there was some insurance around there we promote insurance around here. And listen to all the insurance companies. Um, I need a sponsor. I need a goddamn sponsor. I'm trying to help. 250000 Who they burying? Prince. Mm. No, 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 no. This is, this is for the foundation. This is for the foundation to help others. You know, so um, I do be understanding that we want to help people in the community and stuff like that right there. But until we can sit back and say, we adults. We adults, and if you have children, it should be mandatory in your life, in your household, to have some damn insurance. Period, point blank, there's no other. I can't afford, I can't afford, but we can afford everything else that we want to do. We can afford to have our essential products. Well, scratch that because that is something that's needed. <laughs> that's mandatory. Like, we have to have that right there even before we have our bills, you know, to continue to cope out here in these streets. But, but, it should be mandatory about them little 20, little 30 ad dollars. You know what I'm saying? Depending on your damn child. This is a problem. The younger the child is, the less the damn insurance is. Shit like $7. Shout out to King Pepper, 85 for the $2 super chat. He say B B BLM ain't paid for no black chick funerals. Why? Oh, that's a good one. The Willie Williams Show is sponsored by Publix All State in Hennessy. I need that type of help. You say that pretty dead baby only got 214. Shaking my head. Get insurance. Mm. Mm, you say she's trying to start a business off of her child's, off of her death passer. You say she could have done this before her child died. And like I be trying to tell people, typically... Did, this is one of the biggest reasons why I said, like, I don't pretend to care, and we full of crap. We are full of crap. We don't tend to care until it hits close to home and or at home. That's when we really care, and that's when we um, tend to really want to do something. For the most part, that's when we tend to want to do some type of activism or something to get some law change or something because now it affects us and it really really does hurt us you say willie you need to sell life insurance policies I, listen, 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 listen i have been thinking about that right there man and i was like oh i gotta take a course i'm gonna have to take a course wait, wait no no i don't want to take no damn courses out here can anybody tell me like what is the easiest way to get um, my life insurance um, 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 stamped 